Hello, my beautiful collective. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my beautiful soul. <laughs> Goddess of Light 1111 is here. So, I want to say thank you to all of you um, that have been welcoming back. I appreciate you guys. I am beyond grateful. I am beyond thankful for everything um because you know for the prayers the healings i wish the same for you guys i am beyond grateful again and i am beyond thankful for everything you guys been supporting me throughout this whole journey and i couldn't be more happier to take on this like I say, as we grow together, as we heal together, you guys will learn from me. I will learn from you. Like they say, when they, you know, when the student is ready, the teacher is appears. Is the same thing. We we'll learn from each other as, as we learn from each other. We will go, you know, to learn how we can move forward. Because a lot of us, when we say we let go of the past. It's just like kind of like okay, we might be say that mentally, but in our hearts, the ex is still lingering. Whether you keep them with you or they keep you with them, they're still there. So, I want to say I am really, really, really appreciate you guys, and I am beyond, beyond grateful for your support, your love, you know your healings thank you so much so now let's see i'm not going to give i'm just checking on love readings to see i have not done readings in a long time i've been out for a while and um you know this me started back again is still my it's still a part of my healing so i need you guys to bear with me okay so to get you the message for you know whomever this is whether it's an ex or no and stuff so you know as i used to say before you know if you wish to have a new person in your life that's what you need to focus on and you're gonna have to you know let go of the past whether you know because the past for so some of you there's a reconciliation that you know that's coming uh, that's coming for you but whether you want it or not you know that's a step to you but you're gonna have to do some type of healings before you can be with any exes sometimes it's not because you know both people see say pay attention to the red flag so whomever that's coming towards you they they might not healing yet they are coming but that does not mean you need to accept them so i'm not i cannot telling you guys when it's come to you know love and relationship i cannot telling you guys who you should be with who you should go back to that's a set to you so you gotta have to be because you know you can see this this is someone that's have some type of addiction i'm gonna be honest with you this person might be codependent you know male or female doesn't matter but this is someone that is calling you and this person might be doing a little you know juju here and there this is someone that is manifesting you you know uh whether they're doing ritual or not but they are calling you in addiction are affecting your romantic life so like i said this is someone that is codependent whatever the addiction they are they're having it doesn't have to be you know anything major this person could be you know very sexually attracted to you they could be addicted to money they could be addicted to alcohol drugs you know whatever it is and stuff like that. this is someone that is they have some type of addiction you know that they need to work on so if you guys have any exes that's coming towards you because you also have some of you um like i don't want my ex i want no love which is that's beautiful see a new person has their romantic feelings so some of you but you know in order for that uh for the no love to come some of you has to release and let go of that control issues you guys you know like i'm gonna the easiest way to you know the easiest way when it's come to love is to just like you know instead of trying to control the narrative of the situation um you can be like okay you know what 
Uh, because we don't have to ask God. I'm just going to say this. You don't have to ask God for everything. You can. This is something you can discuss with your ancestors when it's come to your love life. You can, uh, you know, you're like, okay, ask your ancestors to guide the right person that meant for you. You know, or you, or you ask God. But I'm just going to say it because God sent you your di discernment. That's when you're unable to discern. When you say, okay... Like for me, I let my love life, God, you know, I'm working with God 1000%. God is, you know, if he sees it fits and stuff like that, for me to be in a relationship, the, I leave it to God. But I'm done with my exes. I'm just saying. But at the same time, you know, if they have to come to taught me some type of lesson, I cannot say anything. I just have to let go let go and let God and let go of the control issues. So I'm just giving you guys some example. You guys have no love coming in though. In exes. Alright. So Spirit God, thank you God. Thank you universe. Woo. Thank you God. Thank you universe. Holy Spirit. I can Joe. I can Joe Michael. Ascended Masters. What do you have for my lovely, beautiful, beautiful collective for no love? Thank you so much to all my my spirit guy and Holy Spirit. What do you have for my beautiful? So we have separation. So okay. Some there's someone that time apart from your partner is on a horizon. There's someone that's coming towards you guys. This person is in some type of separation. I don't know if you know because I'm hearing it say it's still lingering. So this person, somebody is coming towards you guys. They are in some type of separation. You know, someone might be um emotionally separated. They might be emotionally separated, like, okay, they live in the same house with the wife, the husband, they're not, see, because we have this could be the one at the bottom. Someone is coming towards you. This person is emotional, emotionally separated, but they haven't, they're not, they haven't gone through the whole process of divorce yet. So you guys going to have to be patient when it's come to this person. You know, um, if they come towards you, you guys going to have to say, this might be someone you guys even have children with. Your love life is being affected by children, you guys. is You might have, or for some of you, this person, someone in here is disconnected from their children also. That's the energy that I'm getting here. So there's some type of separation. So go with the flow. Yeah, see, wedding. This situation involves marriage. Yeah, like I just said, someone in here is married. They, this person that's coming towards you, they're still married. They haven't let go of the uh, relationship yet because they are in the upright. So they are emotionally. It's just like they, they're still in the relationship, but they, you know, and I don't want to say that, you know, because you can love someone still living in the same house with them and have no feelings for them that's what i'm getting here when it's come to this um marriage whoever this person here that's coming towards you guys so so it's like when this person is coming towards you they might not heal yet so this if is it do you want to you know help this person heal or do you want them to go to the healing process themselves you know because this person is not coming when they're coming towards you i don't feel like they're going to be healed already because this is someone they almost like want to left the relationship you know unexpectedly but not healed yet they want to involve themselves in a new relationship but they're still not healed yet so holy spirit spirit god what do you have for my lovely collective yeah i see this 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 relationship gonna be unrequited so they are in a this person is in an unrequited marriage so how do we say it we say karmic oh my goodness the karmic is also a person it's a human being this is someone that you know that's come towards somebody to teach the other person a lesson 
one person is going to love the other is going to love the other person more that's what the karmic is you know the man could love the woman more which means that the woman is the karmic they you know so this is this is where we call people you know we say the karmic because they're there to teach somebody a lesson there is you know that's what i'm getting here so someone is in unrequited relationship they just figured that out they could have been with this person you know for a very long long time they fall out of love but they still stay in the relationship there might be some type of you know gratification in there for them they might have business children um you know asset together you know it's like these people build together but they're not meant to be with each other it was supposed to be a lesson it could be like you know a lesson like to help this person like gain wealth people doesn't understand that they get like well he took everything for me or she took everything for me he went away and things like that it's not like that so uh, when we understand what is you know the karmic is there to do in our lives that's what i'm saying there's gonna be a lot of a lot of healings that's coming through but you guys gonna have to be patient with me because i'm just like i just saw 11 11 so yeah so for some of you it's kind of like you know there's someone that's coming towards you this person is your twin flame but they are in a relationship with somebody else in this unrequited relationship yeah we have give your relationship a chance work on your partnership and for some of you when they say oh, work on your partnership they mean literally i'm you and the angels to work on yourself it doesn't mean why right here give your relationship a chance you know someone in here need to work on themselves before they can get in a relationship this is not like um this is about aligning with someone uh, with yourself here before you get in any type of relationship with this person whether it's them or you but this is about them you see getting to know each other because this person you're going to meet or whether you know this person or not this is gonna be like getting to know this person all over again if it's a new person you're gonna have to get to know them like before you involve you need to know everything about this person that's what i'm going you don't have to do it in a crazy way but you're gonna you need to get to know this person because it's uh, as you reveal your animal self to each other your bond deepen yeah you're gonna have to know this person what they've been through and you guys going to have might be you guys going to be uh, naked with each other and when i say naked i'm not being like taking your clothes off keep your clothes on before you do anything you would wet when i'm going to say this this is with you know me being lighthearted. when i say you guys go to bed naked you guys going to bed the truth with each other you guys going to be very vulnerable with each other that's what spirits say here so that's what your angels is telling you right now. You say, keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type. Again, you might be, you know, whomever this is, I feel like you guys are going to have a lot of fun. There's going to be a lot of joy. There's going to be a lot of happiness in your life. But they have to be some type. Yeah, you guys are going to be, there's a lot of flirting going on, a lot of passion. Okay, chemistry. Alrighty then. Okay, now. Mm -hmm well see love reading they're much more much more lighthearted than the other reading so we have 1345 and the clock so which means you guys might be meeting for some of you you guys might be meeting a scorpio that's for some of you i said Let me see what else do you need to know. I love these cards. So, they'll give you some more things. This is a love reading. Ooh, it see? Then I say this to you guys. Look, patience. Ooh. <laughs> see, patience. You guys are going to have to be patient. It said that everything happened in divine order. So, for some of you that's in a hurry, you know, um, you want your relationship right now so like i say this person if they're coming towards you you guys are going to have to be patient with yourself you're going to have to be patient get to know this person before you guys do anything oh 
That's an excess envy, you guys. Mm. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. Yeah, there's someone that's envy, y'all. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh. Holy Spirit. Spirit, God, what do you know from a beautiful collective in love? What is what is my collective need to know about this person in love? Oh, that's beautiful. I love this. So this is someone, this person that's coming towards you. Um, oh, someone in here might be following you to a sense because you are here. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. I love it. Like I said, this is someone that is funny. They're very lighthearted. They, this person have a good sense of humor. They're very lighthearted. They're funny. But at the same time, this is someone that is... This person might be just started in their spiritual journey. So if you guys are looking for someone that is spiritual, this person is just started. Okay? This is someone that just started in their journey. I can tell. I can uh, see they they are trying to practice being more this is someone that is also very serious i don't know what they do for work um i can't i'm gonna keep it to myself because i've been told to not to say anything about what they do for work but this is someone that is, is trying to um they are gonna try to be more vulnerable more open you know more light-hearted they're not gonna be so serious because that's what they've been dealing with all their life in the relationship they were been through that's the way they are so they're gonna be more open so and then this is someone you will be able to trust so i felt like for some of you your ancestors your spirit guy god is gonna send you that person like your person because um i'm not going to say oh your person they're gonna send you your person if someone is dealing with somebody else they are they're not your person they are a person not yours because we are as individuals i'm not I, I'm, that's just me okay so and don't i'm not yelling i do speak with passions i'm not angry i'm not upset or mad or anything i do speak with passion so you know what you know me i i still want you guys to get the message you know deliver it the same way i speak with compassion in a leadership way so bear with me except that you know my inner voice will always guide me correctly oh look at that this is someone this person is going to do whatever they have to do um in the right way they're gonna try to listen to themselves if it's someone that used to do you know used to do things um like let's just say this is someone you know the way they talk or speak they will say you know before like i'm not saying verbally abusive they could have been like that or this is someone that just you know the way that the manner is the talk the way you know they're gonna try to control all of this so this is someone that have to do a lot of inner work so i feel like this person is going to do that because they want you to trust them they want to have some type of relationship with you so they're gonna do the inner work you know that's that's what i'm getting so and we have purpose yeah I know, I know what I am here to do. Yes, this is someone, like I say, for some of you, that's already um, in some type of spiritual journey. Someone in here is also going to embark in, embark in that journey with you because they want to be with you. They want some type of relationship with you because if that's where you guys are, you could be a Christian, don't care. You could be a Muslim, don't care. You could be atheist, don't care. But wherever you are, I feel like this person also is, they have some type of purpose and by meeting you, this person is going to find their purpose. And I feel like they might be already being, um, this person might be already being guided by your ancestors to work on themselves in order for them to come towards you. That's what I'm getting here. This is not someone that can just come towards you just like that to be like, oh yeah, you know, um, you know, they cannot come towards you with some type of fake, um, 
you know i am you know i am this or that and stuff they have to show it that's what i'm getting here in order for you to be with this person so we have this star see telling you this this is a healer this is wish granted this is clarity this is healing this is balance and the ace of swords here i'm being truthful i'm telling you all the truth you see everything that i just say i'm being truthful and honest Ooh, for some of you it's a capricorn that's coming towards you this person gotta work on themselves so We have the king of swords four of swords i feel like this person is working and putting something to rest or they want to put you to rest i'm being, to, I'm being honest I'm being, you know, my baby says, this, this person is in no love we have three of pentacles somebody you want to see you naked they wanna they somebody he might also yeah we have the it could be a sag we have Queen of Cups, we have Ace of One. Someone in here might be, you know, they have some type of portrait of you naked. Like they're drawing some type of picture of you naked or they're visioning you naked or something like that. Well, this is what I love about love reading. They always get twisted. <clears throat> Okay, I'm keeping this short, sweet, and simple. So we have six of swords. So somebody here moving into is want to move into karma water, page of pentacles. We have, you know, someone in here that decided. So king of wands. So I feel like the king of wands decide this person might be decided to be practical here, or um they might also want to give you some type of gifts, you know, just to call it a day. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, you can see this person is watching a message and they're like, wow, you know, um, I've, yeah, someone is looking at some type of message right here. They're looking at someone that have victory and success here. Page of Wands, we have King of Wands. They, this is someone that, you know, looking at something that... Um, move forward they feel like they need to move into um come a water here and this person is very attracted to you remember this king of wands it was leo sage holy spirit spirit guy what do you have for my collective in love who is coming to us my beautiful collective in love <laughs> we have ten of wands could be a sagittarius but it's a burden though someone might be burdened um so we have two of cups so there is a sagittarius here that one giving and receiving love with you this person might be might be a soulmate but with the ten of wands here yeah this is someone that is secret okay Whomever this is, we have cancer here. We have we have cancer. We have Sagittarius. So whomever this is, this is someone that secretly have this person secretly wants to be with you. That's what I'm getting here when it's come to, but they feel burden. It could be a cancer or a Sag, or they have both in their chart. This person is burdened, but they want to offer you some type of love. They want to making you a love offer. They want receiving give. They want giving receiving love with you. They do. This is a secret crush. This new love is a secret crush for some of you. But this person is in a relationship with somebody else. Could be a Cancer or Sag. They are heavy burden though. They are heavy burden because the person they they might, might they might be dealing with might be make it very um difficult for them to you know separate it or get a divorce. 
due to asset money children you know things like that holy spirit spirit god what do you have for my beautiful collective and love we have nine of pentacles so you know focus on yourself that's Knight of Pentacles. That's exactly what I'm hearing. You guys are self sufficient, independent, and single. Continue to focus on yourself. That's what I'm hearing. We have the Empress, a Libra. Yeah, someone here is married. We have a Libra or a Taurus here. This person is an Empress. Who's coming to is my collective and love for his spirit, spirit guy? Six of Swords. Someone is coming towards you. There's an Empress that's coming towards you for some of you guys. Oh, and by the way, the Empress doesn't have to be the Empress doesn't mean um it doesn't the Empress could be a man or woman. It doesn't have to be, but this is someone that is very good at um at procreating. At procreated they can do things very good they're good at making things happen they're good at creating things they they're really good this is someone that is you know it's like kind of like mother earth that's what the impress is so they they bring things to life you know they revive things that's what i'm getting here but this person is coming towards you holy spirit spirit god what else do you have for my beautiful collective in love yeah, three of cups in the reverse. Yeah, someone in here is is about to um. <laughs> there's some type of celebration. Three of cups in the reverse. Someone in here is um. It's ended. There's some type of ended. Some type of um third parties. This person is ended a third party before they can come towards you. Give me one card for the empress. Yeah also ended in a conflict beautiful not only this person is ended competition they ended in a conflict they also ended you know um you know they ended third party conflicts competition you know um fight you know they ended all they are ended all of this before this person can come towards you that's beautiful i like it six of swords please Oh, yes, the hangman and the reverse. This person is no longer want to wait. They are going to approach you. You know, that's what I'm getting with the hangman and the reverse. We have ace of cups. Yeah, you guys got no love coming. This is beautiful. No love is at the bottom. But this person is holding back. So, yeah, that's the emperor. I'm telling you, there's the empress and there's the emperor. For some of you, there's an emperor that's coming towards you, but this person is gone is going through right now. They have to heal. They are going through some type of painful ending. We have King of Swords, um, the Emperor. There's some type of painful ending between these two people. But this this either the Emperor, the King of Swords, these people are um no love that's coming towards you, but they have to death. They have to sever sever ties with something or someone here before they can come towards you. Okay, so we're gonna leave it right there with the Ace of Cups. That's the energy that I'm getting because they're holding back until they serve its time with this uh, with somebody here. They can come towards you. Let's see a love message from this no or or whoever this person is. The hangman is in the reverse. Someone in here is not tied to that person anymore. They they still with that person, but not how you think. They're not in love with this person because there was no cup series. You can see this person like they have to end it. Someone knows if they come in with you, they cannot come in with baggage. And the ten of one, they do. They already they have baggage. They know they cannot come in with you with any type of baggages. Any love message, please, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guide for my beautiful collective and love. Oh, see, you have this is someone that you know the timing is not quite right, like I've been saying to you guys. So, this is someone that's coming to you guys, they attracted to you. And when you, when this person is finally come towards you, guys might be um, mutually attracted to this person, but they are married though. <laughs> See, 
Look at what what I talk about the whole weeding vulnerability, right? I said this person, you guys, they're going to be very vulnerable to you. You can be completely open with this person. I'm telling you, this is someone that's that's gonna try you. They're gonna want um they want you to trust them. They're gonna want you to trust them. So they're coming. Yeah, decision. They they have to make a decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. I'm telling you, someone in here has to decide it when it's come to because I feel like they they they're gonna realize that okay, um, they're gonna lose you if they don't make a decision. So that's why they say the timing is not quite right. They have to make a decision. Vulnerability. This is someone that wants to come to with you. This is someone that wants a relationship with you. This is someone that you want to be trust. You you know they want you to trust them so they're gonna try to do the right things whether they keep doing the right things when you guys are in a relationship you know i don't know but i can tell you they are going to try very hard because they're not coming towards you with third party for some of you it's a acceptance everything happens for a reason yeah look at that obsession someone in this connection is gripping did i told you guys already i said they're Either a husband or the wife, whoever that's coming to with you, is making it difficult for this person to to let go. Someone is making it difficult. Like, you don't want to be with me? Well, I'm going to hold it down to this. This person might be, this could be a child's mother, a child's father. You know, take it out, it's resonant. But someone here is using something that is very precious to the emperor or the empress or whomever the king of swords is, whomever, you know, that's coming to you. But someone is using excuses to hold on to someone that's not love them. Look at what I just said. Look, obsession, marriage, this relationship is moving towards a sacred union. Yeah, someone in here coming to you for marriage. We have marriage twice. Someone in here, the other one is at the beginning, it's unrequited. But someone, whoever this coming towards you they want marriage with you and they are going to apologize to you for whatever reason you can expect an apology you want to hear from this person because they are your parcel <gasps> your soul remember this intense connection yep this is someone you knew you know this person from past life not just like 10 years ago 14 years ago this is someone you have a soul contract with okay and they are going to apologize. You know how someone you never know and then they apologize to you for no reason and stuff like that. You know, this is someone you you know in past life. They they're polite, they you know, things like that. So I'm being guided to leave it right there. So it's look like this person and in the meantime, like spirit say, please, I'm gonna telling you guys, your angel, your ancestors, God himself said focus on yourself enjoy yourself being single self-sufficient independent don't worry about whatever this person got is going on and stuff like that that's there that they have to go through some type of you know whatever lesson they have to go through they have to go through it but this person is coming towards you i don't know how long but well my beautiful collective that's all i have for you guys don't forget to like subscribe and share the video I love you guys. Bye.